Hello, and welcome back to the Gubba podcast. My name is Gubba. I'm a first time homesteader following in the footsteps of my homesteading forebearers. And on this podcast, we talk about everything prepping, homesteading, food storage, and a little bit of everything in between. Today, I want to talk to you about bug out bags, why you should have one, and what to keep in them. So, do you have a bug out bag? If not, take this as a sign and you should definitely make one. They are easy to make. You can find the supplies online or at local stores to fill your bag with. So what is a bug out bag? A bug out bag is essentially a backpack or suitcase or whatever sort of bag that is filled with essential supplies and is ready to go when you need it. So bug out bags are for emergencies when you need to literally bug out. So what does bugging out mean? It means that you need to leave your home, shelter, or vehicle in a pinch due to an emergency or unforeseen circumstance, and you have to get the heck out of there fast. A few examples where you would have to evacuate quickly would be like wildfires coming near your home, hurricanes, and with the weirdness of the new world, like government orders, I mean, you really never know. In a pinch of a situation like those, you may not have time to open up a suitcase and start packing. That's why a bug out bag is absolutely Absolutely essential. You can pick up your bug out bag quickly and be ready to go right then. You are familiar with the items in your bag and how to use them, so it's no, no big deal. And you have what you need to survive and get yourself stable in an unstable situation and environment. Seriously, imagine a hurricane like Hurricane Katrina just shredding it up in your neighborhood and you are forced to evacuate. What would you take with you? You will be in such a panic that you may not be able to think clearly, like most definitely you will not be thinking clearly with adrenaline skyrocketing, so much stuff going on. You will miss important necessities like medications or important documents. If you have a bug out bag ready though, you won't have to worry about missing out on anything important. Obviously you'll have to leave things behind, but you will have your essentials to get you through. So. Imagine this, your catapult into a situation of no food, no water, no shelter, no toilet, and no electricity for days. Like, what are you going to do? I suppose you can go to a government shelter if they're around. That's literally my worst nightmare, though. I would read up on some of the horror stories of government help during emergency situations. I would rather be out in the sticks like a full-on Last of Us situation surviving than head to a government shelter. No thank you. When you take your safety and life into your own hands, I promise you will feel so much more comfortable and in control. By preparing a bug out bag, you are doing just that. You can use a backpack, suitcase, or any type of duffel bag as your bug out bag. I personally use a backcountry backpack because they are made to fit a lot of items and tools in them and you can comfortably carry heavy loads. You can use a tactical backpack though too. You can find all of these kinds of bags on Amazon. Tactical bags are cool because they have so many different pockets and uses to them. You can even buy full backpack loadouts where the bag comes full of stuff, but you don't have to do that. And I would recommend addressing your own situation and bug out bag and preparing accordingly to your needs. Your bug out bag will look slightly different than mine because it will be tailored to your specific needs. Like if you take a special medication. You will need that in your bag. And don't forget about your animals. You need to prepare for them in your bag or have a different bag for them. You can definitely have multiple bags. And I would suggest having as many bags as your family members and what they're able to carry. If everyone is able to carry a backpack of sorts, then prepare their own bug out bag for them to have. And to start making your bug out bag, you will want to think of your surrounding terrain, potential disasters prevalent to your area and what kind of needs you and your family have and then go from there. 
So start with the basics, which is food. What will you do for food? Do you have a special diet that you will need to be thinking of? I would suggest freeze dry goods, whether you make them or buy them from somewhere because they are super light and won't weight you down. And camping food is definitely the way to go because camping food is already made for primitive situations. Throw at a minimum of enough food into your bag for 72 hours. This will give you a serious jump start into your survival. Next, water. How will you drink? I would suggest getting a life straw. A life straw enables you to drink from many different forms of water, lakes, rivers, ponds. I've used my life straw in lakes and rivers and have never gotten sick. The water tasted fine. It, it felt and tasted clean to me. I mean, I'm alive and they're super cool, compact, and do not weigh much. You can also get water purifying tablets. So maybe pack a retractable cup that is small, compact and light that can hold water. And then you put the water in there, add in the tablet, purify it, and then you can drink it. And after you have your life essentials of food and water squared away, start thinking about what's next. A first aid kit is definite must. You can customize your first aid kit to your liking, depending on what you want to put in it. This can vary on family members needs too. So your dog's first aid will definitely be different than a general human first aid. And first aid is an absolute necessity. Like have at the bare minimum, like one of those basic first aid kits that you can just get anywhere and then build up from there. Maybe you want a trauma kit for blood or maybe for broken bones. You know, whatever is going to make you feel comfortable and won't weigh you down in your bug out bag. And in a situation with no electricity, you will need light. I would throw in flashlights and a headlamp into your bug out bag. I love having them both. You can also get hand crank, crank flashlights for batteryless operation. You definitely will need light in a survival scenario like this. So get your flashlights now, pack extra batteries if that's what yours operate on, and maybe a few glow sticks are great as well to have in your bug out bags for when flashlights give out or you don't need a ton of light. You never know what kind of situation you're in. Maybe you don't want to give off a ton of light. You don't know what's out there. So glow sticks, those are a great alternative. And along with these hand cranked tools, like a flashlight, you can get a hand crank radio to stay in tune with the situation around you. Not that I would trust what's broadcasted per se. You know, I'm really leery on, you know, the news, but it can give you a feel of what the heck is going on or what is being portrayed as going on if it's chaos. So I would definitely Maybe think about having a hand crank radio if you can fit it into your bug out bag and you will definitely need a knife in your bag. I have a few. These can be like a Swiss army knife for multiple purposes or a knife that you can use for self-defense and for other things like building shelter or weapons. And for self-defense, I mean, you can have a lot of things. I'll leave that up to you for what you would want to pack, but rope is a must because it's versatility and the use for making a shelter. Put rope in your bag for sure. And along with shelter, you can get really neat tents that are lightweight for backpacking. They can be spendy, so they're a bigger purchase, but can be totally worth it to have a lightweight, nice camping tent in an emergency situation. Also throw in some emergency space blankets. I've actually had to use these in an emergency situation when I was younger. I was on the verge of getting hypothermia on a river trip gone wrong, and some people stopped and gave me their space blankets to use. Seriously, like what angels, now that I think about it, they were prepared. My family was not. Along with this would be rain ponchos to keep yourself dry. You don't know what kind of weather conditions you'll run into. And for camping supplies too, lightweight and compact blankets and pillows are made now. And they're super cool, spendy, but man, so worth it in an emergency situation to actually have some comfort. 
because you're going to be thrown out of your comfort zone. But to have something like that, that's small, and you're able to have just like a source of comfort that can be worth a lot. You can also throw in a change of clothes. It's not necessary because you can wash your clothes with surrounding bodies of water, or you may not want to wash your clothes. That's up to you, but that will definitely bring a layer of comfort to you and heat. Heat is an essential. So you will want to pack fire starting supplies. So waterproof matches, kindling sticks, cotton balls, maybe a butane torch lighter, figure out what works for you, but it is nice to have options. And also maybe some hand warmers, some foot warmers. Those are lightweight. You can get those in bulk from like Costco. And those are great to pack in your bag as well. Throw in a roll of duct tape. The uses for duct tape are literally endless when it comes to survival. So throw it in if you can fit it. And all of these things will help you get started in building a bug out bag. It sounds like a lot, but when you have a big backpacking backpack, or tactical bag, you'll be surprised at what fits in there. Do you see how your situation would change having access to these items than if you just leave your house with nothing to your name besides the shoes on your feet and the outfit you're wearing that day? You will have a much better chance at survival this way. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And again, your bag will be customized to you and your family's needs and won't be exactly like mine. And that's okay. There are so many things you can add to a bug out bag, but only pack what you think is necessary for you. All I know is the day I almost got hypothermia on a river trip gone wrong when I was younger, I'm so happy that the people who happened to float by had mylar blankets in their emergency bag to let me have. Like I will never forget that. And that situation sticks with me to this day. Bug out bags are so neat in that all you have to do is pick them up and know how to use them and they are priceless. You can also create different bug out bags, a bug out bag for your house, a bug out bag to keep in your trunk of your car because maybe you will need to bug out of your work area and you can't drive home due to the roads being packed or closed down. So you will have to bug out from the bag in your trunk that is ready to go. I know it sounds like a crazy situation, but you really don't know what could happen or maybe you get stuck in traffic and you have your bug out bag with food and water. How nice would that be? A good idea is to do field days with your bug out bag and your family, like go actually use them and survive only with them for three days and see how everyone does. This will allow you to see what you are lacking in your bag, what areas could be strengthened and what isn't needed. This could also provide time for a good family bonding moment. Nothing like surviving in the wilderness to bring people together. But I hope that you found this episode informative. I love bug out bags. I think everybody should have one. So thank you for listening. Now go get making your bug out bag and don't do anything a government do. Bye.